Hello guys, so this is Kateshi and we are going to continue with our lesson on circuit theorem. So we are on theorem 3, okay? And uh, theorem 3 states that the angle, the diameter, okay, we've already talked about the properties of the diameter. So the, the angle, the diameter, the diameter, subtends at any point on the circumference. So this point on the circumference, this point, that point, the angle that the diameter subtends, okay, is 90. So we are saying that if there's a circle, okay, and this is a diameter AB. This is a diameter AB. The angle this diameter subtends at the circumference is 90. It's 90. And even at this point, okay, this angle is 90. So how do we know that? So let's, this is not drawn to scale. So let's note that. Not drawn to scale. So let's draw um, a circle to scale and let's see whether this theorem is true so with the compass with the aid of a pair of compasses okay so this is my circle okay and this line is my diameter so let me draw that line So I'm going to uh, choose some points at random. Okay, so I'll choose this point. So these are points on the circumference, okay? Because the rule stated that at any point, okay, at any point on the circumference. Okay. So so from here to there. So I think it should be right at this point where it touches the circumference. Okay, and also at this point. So let me say, let's choose this one. And this point. So we are going to see whether the law is true. Okay, this rule is true by measuring the angle that the angles that this diameter, say AB, subtends at different points on the circumference of this circle okay so let's measure with a protractor so this is my protractor okay so i'm going to measure let me choose the baseline wow and it's actually 90 degrees so i'm counting from zero okay to the 90 degrees. This, these are the lines, okay, and it matches with this 90 degrees on the protractor. So wow, the theorem is true. The theorem is true. But let's confirm with other um, angles. So this is also true, okay. This is also true. This is 90 degrees, as you can see. So this is 90, and that is also 90. Sorry. That is also nice. What about this one? Let's check. Wow, that is also 90. So the theorem is true, okay, that the angle is appended. So we can actually see that this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. And this plus this, or this, this plus that, okay, is 180. So this will lead us to another theorem called, um, that's the fourth theorem. So that will be dealt with later. So we found that. So let's solve a question under that so we have a question um, let me sketch so a question that says that line cd is a di the diameter let 
let me, let me make it a b so line a b is a diameter and a point c c is located here and the question says that angle c a b is equal to 25 degrees so write at 25 degrees find angle a b c okay so we're supposed to find, find angle a b c that's this angle but an angle is formed when two lines in so you need to extend the extend the point here to that point here okay by drawing a line okay so now we form our triangle acb so therefore we can say that this angle this is angle abc and this is angle acd but we know from circle theorem so when you're given a question like this you use your circle theorem and then you apply you apply the theorems okay so you know that this is supposed to be 90 degrees because they said in the question that ab is a diameter so the angle subtended at the circumference by a diameter is 90 degrees so you know that this is 90 degrees but how do you find angle abc then you, see, you, you, you state that um, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, we say that angle ACB, angle ACB plus angle angle ACB plus and sorry angle CAB plus angle ABC plus angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees okay so you are saying that therefore angle A C sorry angle therefore angle CAB plus angle ABC plus angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees but you know from circle theorem that a that angle b c a angle b c is equal to 90 degrees okay so and it was given the question that c a b is equal to um, 25 degrees so you are going to say that therefore 25 degrees plus angle a b c plus angle plus 90 degrees sorry is equal to 180 degrees so angle ABC plus 90 plus 25 is 115 plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees okay so therefore angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees minus 115 degrees and our final answer is going to be 65 degrees so therefore angle a b c is equal to 65 degrees problem so okay so here we are saying that this plus that is 115 but the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 so you need to equate this angle plus this angle plus that angle to 180 okay and do change of subject make angle a b c the subject and then we are we arrived at this answer that angle a b c is 65 degrees so therefore this is 65 degrees yeah thank you